of the better shooting was from shooting better, and how much of it was from the ball movement execution? Yeah, you know, I mean, both. You know, we got open shots and understood what they were going to do defensively, which is take away the paint. And, you know, our thing was good to great, find your teammates. Um, every paint touch will uh, kind of, their defense will dissipate and we'll get open shots. So um, knowing that coming in, guys stepped up and shot them confidently. We got a good number up, obviously, um, making 21. But I think more so than that, guys were confident and took the shots that were there. And, you know, when you can have 35 assists and move the ball like we didn't get the open looks, more often than not, they're going to drop. Is that one of those things that builds on itself? Guys see it work and then yeah. more likely to keep it up? Yeah, and that was the message at halftime. When we had 18 point lead and went down to two, it's what we did to build the lead for two and a half or one and a half quarters was move the ball, touch the paint, and get open shots. And then we started to get a little cute and, you know, started to play by ourselves one on one and, you know, got, gave up the lead and got those turnovers. And so wanted to get back to that, and I think we did right out of the gate in the third quarter. What you like about Dylan's impact on both ends of the floor tonight? Yeah, he's so versatile. I mean, being aggressive, he's one of our physical drivers that gets in and, you know, obviously attacks the basket but can also make some reads. You don't love the seven turnovers there, a little sloppy at times, as was our team. But um, and then defensively, just being able to be on bigger guys and go to ball and you know, disrupt some things there, it's always a luxury to have a guy like that. Just before halftime, uh, you called a timeout and you went directly to Jaden and had kind of an exchange with him. What was kind of the message there, and, and, and you know, was he able to deliver on what you wanted out of him after that timeout? Yeah, it was continue to play the way that you did to get us here. You know, he was a little loose with the ball. They they upped their aggressiveness, and um, you know, we had those turnovers that led led to easy baskets. So you know, continue to do what got us here, and we've seen that be a pattern at times this year, giving up the leads, um, and and so you know. Enough is enough as far as that, and let's clean that up and be strong. And yeah, he did it. He came out obviously aggressive in the second half as well. But um, you know, he heard the message. Was it a was it a must win game? But could you tell the sense of urgency that your team came out with tonight? Yeah, I just think um, we understood what we didn't do well in the other games. You know, had opportunity to be. You know, obviously the San Antonio win. Like I said, you make a shot or two, you win that game. But it still doesn't mask all the deficiencies that we had in that game and so just getting better and better each game um, you know build on the Golden State game and yeah just want to be more consistent and understood that you know even though didn't love the end of the, the end of the second quarter uh, we got back to it the second half what did you think of um, Jabari Smith Jr. tonight but mainly in the third quarter because that's when it seemed like you guys were able to recapture your momentum yeah he's when he gets going it's going to obviously open us up even more um you know, hasn't been, been played up to his standard to start the season so far, and that's um, you know it puts a burden on everybody else. And so when he's doing what he's doing out there, you know, making shots and, and the rebounding, the assists, and all-around game defensively as well, it's just another added luxury. So I uh, loved his aggressiveness, um, loved the confidence that he's had, and you know, not shied away even when he hasn't shot it well, and stuck with it and puts the work in. So eventually, you know, he's going to come out of that rut a little bit. Yeah, Hornets kept on. the lead to, to five late. What do you think was the key for your team being able to, you know, not get frazzled and kind of just to put the game away after that? Yeah, I mean, I would like to say, we, you know, they made some tough shots and, and Melo was in the mid range and Rozier as well. But I think overall it was just the, the ball movement again to get in the open shots. And so Alpi got to go on his side a little bit. They collapsed the paint there and, and we got some kickouts and made those shots. And like I said, that's sometimes just make or miss, but we got the good looks. And so um, Alpi kind of settled us, us there and then Fred hitting guys in the pocket and finding shooters. Do you have an update Sorry. on Edmund Thompson? Uh, he has a grade two ankle sprain. Um, I'm going to go check on him now. I'm not sure what that means uh, time frame wise. Back to Sarge's question, just the importance of this game and really being just to avoid entirely the snowball effect that could have happened and just get the first one out of the way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good, obviously. Um, but like I said, you know, you're a shot or free throw away from going two and two instead of, you know, being 0 and 3 or, or 1 and 1 and 3. But, um, yeah, it's always good to get the first one. I think we have played well enough at times, but haven't been consistent enough. And that's been my message more so than anything is like, if we continue to play at the proper, you know, with the proper intensity and focus, we'd be in good shape in those games, even the Golden State taking the late lead. And so, um, not, we're not good enough to float in and out of it. And so, that's been the message. And if we put it together, we can do this. But, uh, still didn't guard as well as we should have, but we're obviously able to get out and score, shoot the ball well, and put up 128. Was part of the game able to, to push tempo after you did get stops, especially in the first half? Is that what you want to see every single night? Yeah, it's been a message from day one um, in camp. And so, you know, our defense can turn to offense, and 
you know, instead of taking out of the net or turnovers, obviously we want to get, get out and play fast. And I think that's where we've been our best so far this year. The last two games, it seems like Fred is starting to get more. Well, the last two or three games, it seems like Fred is starting to get more comfortable and comfortable in this system, you know, and playing under your guidance and your leadership. But have you seen that veteran presence from him? Yeah, I think uh, from day one, though, it's a, we've seen it in training camp and in the games. It's, you know, he's mi missed some shots that he had against Golden State specifically, and you know, it's not necessarily a bad game that he missed shots, but. He's been in command, I think, from day one with us and trying to get everybody else on the same page as far as, you know, being able to get us into sets and settle us down like he does. Howard Mark Williams was the type of defensive big that a year ago Shingoon often struggled with. What did you see from Shingoon tonight as far as taking another step in his development? Yeah, he was really good setting screens, freeing guys up. That's the first piece. You know, those guys walked into a lot of wide open threes. Uh, we know he's a rim protector, but is back in a pretty deep drop. And so Alfred does his job, and Jock and Jeff set screens. And those guys get the shots. And so that's the first piece of it. And then, you know, inside, outside, mixing up a little bit. And um, regardless of his height and shot blocking ability, Alfred's pretty good inside against most, most bigs he's had success against. So just another step there, but he's a tough cover inside with the fakes and the, the touch around the basket. So. Uh, like I said, settle us in the fourth quarter. How important in that fourth quarter was that all veteran kind of lineup uh, that you ran for a few minutes there to kind of settle things down before you went back to your starters? Yeah, it was huge. I think, um, you know, Jay Sean is that steady guy. He's kind of Swiss, Swiss Army knife out there that does a lot of things, but he's the guy that can handle the ball and take some pressure off of Fred and, and initiate some offense. And so I think it, just from a toughness factor, experience factor, it's good to have those guys out there uh, made the right plays. and. Spelled our guys for a little bit until they come in and finish. Thank you. Is there anything else? I was just going to ask him real quick. As, you, as the game went along and the way that you all were playing, could you feel the, the home crowd advantage? Yeah, I think you play well and the crowd appreciates that. So, you know, you're making shots always adds to that as well. But, um, yeah, we got to give them a good product to be happy about. And we haven't done that so far. And tonight was a little bit better. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.